name's Levi. When I first started playing soccer, I was four and a half. I started playing soccer around five years old. I was about, I, was, I want to say two years old when I started playing. Yeah, two years. My name is Ed Handel. Um, I've played soccer. I'm 40 years old and I've played soccer my whole life since I was five years old. I love the game. Uh, I love the teamwork and the camaraderie um, and, and the competitiveness and the physical nature of the, of the game. The thing I love most about soccer is just traveling and playing and the love for the sport. I loved playing soccer because I scored a lot of goals and had lots of fun. It's just kind of like a pastime, but also it's also for, it's like for competition. Competitive uh, soccer and competitive sports in general uh, teach us life lessons. What I'm looking to pass on, you know, to these kids uh, is not only you know the immediate gratification, but learning team building, learning perseverance and hard work and dedication, and things that play into life uh, as adults. I uh, started coaching most of these kids at uh, eight years old and uh, have, have been with them now. Uh, they're 12 years old and some of them turning 13. Um, and we've grown as a family. You know, one, what we've done is kept this core group of kids together and, and developed uh, a unity and a closeness and, and a relationship that um, you can only do when you stay together as a team and, and as a family. Um, and that's what's you know, made this team strive forward and be successful. What I love about my team is that we're all like one big family because we're, we're all friends and we know what each other are going to do so we can anticipate stuff. What I like about our team, um, we win a lot of stuff and it's fun to win. And uh, we, yeah, that's about it. When I was uh, 14 years old, I played uh, uh, out, of the, out of the South Bay area um, for a, a competitive travel club. And we had the opportunity with via help from sponsors and, and donations um, to travel to uh, the British Isles and travel for a couple of months and play in uh, England, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales. And uh, lifelong memories for me, an incredible experience. It's it's, ama it's amazing the, the the cultural gaps that that uh, soccer can can leap and jump across. Uh, uh, Spanish culture thrives on soccer, and they are the best players in the world right now. We developed a relationship with El Concepcion from Madrid, Spain through uh, a young player of mine, Benicio, whose family uh, traveled to Spain to, for his family to work there for a year. And uh, um, Benicio joined a Spanish club out there and via communications with his family and then through their coaching staff, they expressed interest in traveling out to California and up to Humboldt so that they could board and stay and get the cultural experience coming out here, staying with our families. So we're looking to do the same going out there, uh, hopefully in a year or two from now, via fundra fundraising efforts to, to be able to um, do the exchange and travel abroad over to Madrid with the El Concepcion Club and stay and board with their families uh, and, and travel and train with them and get the cultural experience for our boys in Spain. Learn from you know, the best soccer players in the world. I'd like to travel to Spain because it would be a very fun experience. Because I want to go somewhere that's out of the country and to do something that's fun. And it's also out of the continent, which would be even better. I want to go to Spain because I will have new experiences and have a great time. We, we, would, uh, we would appreciate any help and donations and contributions to our, our cause and getting our boys to be able to travel to Madrid, uh, Spain, to, to get the experience and the lifelong memories uh, um, that, they, that they could have the opportunity. Appreciate it. So thank you, gracias. And anything you can contribute would be great and help us a lot. Gracias and thank you.
for sending us to Spain.